Some concerning news tonight when it comes to the Arctic ice cap and how fast it's vanishing. The ice cap has a big impact on our weather. Meteorologist Sean Stiles breaks down what that means for us and why it may be too late to turn back the clock. Arctic sea ice is at a 40-year low. The problem with that, the Arctic Circle is one of the main cooling mechanisms for the planet, and that has got scientists worried. Sea ice area has declined 13% per decade in the last four decades. According to geologist Dr. Pat Abbott, that's over a 50% loss of the Arctic ice cap. The Arctic is incredibly uh, important to the temperature of the Northern Hemisphere in particular, far more so than is generally realized. Think of the Arctic as our air conditioner. You get this contrast of all the ice up at the Arctic and the heat at the equator, and that great difference between cold and heat drives a lot of the weather flow. That contrast is now less, and the jet stream is wandering from its usual patterns because of this dramatic loss of sea ice. We have an excellent satellite record from 1979 to present. We're focusing primarily on September's when the sea ice is at a minimum, and, it, and during that 42 years, the sea ice area covered is down to about 50% of what it was. And when you look at volume, the thickness, it's only 20% of what it was. We also melt it underneath by the warming ocean water. And warming it underneath, you are thawing the older, thicker ice. With less ice to reflect the sun's energy, it's absorbed and warms the ocean. And the warmer waters not only makes more ice melt, but come the next winter, it makes it harder for new sea ice to form. With climate lag time, the hope is that we haven't passed the tipping point. We can't recognize a tipping point in advance, and that's the nasty thing. If you knew where the tipping point was, there'd be a motivation to act. But the only way you can know what the tipping point is, is after you've passed it. And of course, by definition, once you've passed it, now it becomes virtually impossible to reverse. With sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific well above average over the past couple of years, the question now is, have we reached that tipping point when it comes to melting sea ice in the Arctic.